Okay, once again, out here doing a test on the motor, this time with the new uh, Kelly controller. Got some word back from Kelly on uh, how best to uh, hook the main contact or switch, uh, which was giving us a problem on the way they have it configured, but we were able to bypass that. And just wanted to just give a quickie on uh, on how this little puppy works. There's the motor, all nicely wired up. Got uh, one field, a little red wire there, uh, going to the controller to the F2, and then uh, two main wires to the battery pack controller. Basically the same, similar setup as what I had. Uh, ah, hell, there goes my shadow. Yeah, let's go around this way a little bit. Uh, looks a mess, but it's it's all there. Um, easily easily laid out. There's the throttle switch, main contactors. Got a couple inline fuses, a couple wire blocks to help keep things cleaned. And uh, in there, um, there's our little Kelly Sepex controller. give you an idea of what it looks like here. And, uh, kind of back out a little bit. Swing around, there's the main contactor. I'm using a uh, little box here instead of a fuse for right now. Um, it's working. Everything's working. Um, these I had that actually attached to the fuse block there um, wasn't working properly, so so we put the uh, sw uh, breaker switch in instead. Uh, again, here's the here's the, the motor set up. It's an old uh, military uh, starter motor. So anyway, I'm gonna zoom right in here. Got my got my switch. Gonna pull my switch on. Oh, oh! First, gonna turn on the circuit breaker. Circuit breaker on. Switch on. Main contactor is on. We have power to the controller. Uh, we have we have a solid red light on the controller. That means we are good to go. Swing it back around over here to the throttle. Got my little throttle. Move up a little bit. I'm going to move over to the motor. You can hear that motor. Listen to that baby whine. Boy, she just flying away. This is that baby wine. And I tell you, if I hit that throttle and just let it ha let her have it, this thing has got serious, serious torque to it here. So we can uh, just kind of let her rock around a little bit. inside this thing with this stupid little camera line, but, uh... Okay, hang on, hang on a second. I'm going to fix this here so it's not walking out of place again. what I have the motor is sitting on a rubber pad with a couple wooden blocks underneath it to help c cradle it and just trying gonna try and be easy with it when, when you start it gives a little chug and just flies right up there
this motor is considerably noisier than the other, but it definitely works. Uh, that's our main goal, is to make sure it works. And uh, that's one major one major leap ahead. And, uh, kudos to uh, Kelly Controller for a uh, job well done. And uh, still got one other little quick couple things to work out with them on the controller to make it easier, better, all that good stuff. But we're about ready to start buttoning things up in the car. Um, getting, finishing up battery boxes, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, today's a good day. Uh, that's what I like. Uh, the other nice thing is, is today is my anniversary. <laughs> and, uh, May 31st. And uh, so that makes it a double good day. Uh, the only problem is, is both myself and my wife are working. So I work, she works, she's working now, and I have to go work this evening. But the other nice thing is she's going to bring dinner up to us at work. So it'll be a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.